My name is Rose Lipschitz and I was born in Lublin, Poland in 1929. We were ordered to congre congregate in a small town by the name of Belzica. We slept there only one night, I remember all the five of us, my mother, my father, my older brother, my younger brother. The next morning came a knock on the door and they made us go out on a big marketplace. They divided us, all men and women without children, to one side, and women and children to the other side. My father was taken away to Majdanek, on trucks actually. And as they started walking us to a train station, and everybody was walking and carrying their goods, my mother was holding back and holding back until we were almost at the end. There were about 3,000 people walking that highway that day. She grabbed the few belongings that I had in my hand and threw it aside. She threw away what she had. She looked at me, I was 13 years old. She looked me straight in the face and said, I want you to understand that taking us to our debt. I don't believe the whole world has gone mad. There is gonna be somebody somewhere that's gonna help you and you have to run. Well, being 13 and very scared, I hold on to my mother's skirt very tightly but she pushed me off the road, forcibly pushed me off the road. She says, that's the only chance I have of survival. If you survive, so will I through you. And the last guard came over to me and asked me if I'm Jewish. I had blonde hair and blue eyes, and there were a few houses up on top. He thought maybe a child came down to look what's happening. I was 13, but looked actually much younger. So when he walked over to me and asked me if I'm Jewish, I was so petrified that I kept my mouth shut. But I heard somebody yelling, I don't know who it was. Don't you see she's a Polish girl? And he was the last guard. I don't much remember that day. I walked into the train station, the fear was terrific. And the fear in my eyes, in my eyes was giving me away. And then I noticed there was standing an older lady. Her name was Antosha. She used to be a, a, a friend of my grandmother when they were children. I knew her, she knew me. She recognized me and grabbed me by the shoulder, pushed me against the window and said, be quiet, my child be quiet. And that's the way I drove into Lublin, met up with my aunt, and volunteered to go to Germany as a Polish laborer. The rest is history. I lived through with Polish people for the next three years until the liberation in 1945 by the English. <laughs>